So Brainerd, we are just a few weeks away from the new year, and I wanted to take a couple minutes and put some initiatives that we have as a church. I wanna put them on your radar for 2024. So the first full week of January, we are devoting to prayer. And we're taking that name from Acts 2.42, where it says the first followers of Jesus devoted themselves together to prayer. We're opening up our sanctuary here at our Chattanooga campus. We're opening it up Monday to Friday of that week, January 8th to 12th, at 7.30 a.m., at noon, and at 6.30 p.m. Our pastors are going to lead out, guiding a prayer time for 30 minutes. It'll have a focused theme, and I would love to see you. Even if it's just a day or two, I'd love to see you be a part of this. You could slip in before work, or maybe you could use your lunch break and join us. Or maybe a time in the evening, praying with your church family would be the perfect way to wrap up your day. And listen, praying together, it's not about putting anyone on the spot. But I can't imagine many things better than our church joining together and praying. And even if you've never been to anything quite like that, I'd love for you to come. Because I believe praying together in person will really build us up. I, I do know that not everyone can join us at each prayer time. So we're going to be sharing our daily prayer themes with you so that you could join us in your heart, wherever you might physically be. Do you realize what the Bible says happened when God's people gathered to pray together? It tells us that people came to know the Lord. God gave grace and unity, even as that early church navigated so many challenges. The good news of Jesus spread around the whole world, and we would love for God to work, for that to happen in and through us. So we have that week devoted to prayer. And I'm guessing you've heard by now that we are also coming together for an entire year of reading the Bible together. It's called Committed to Know Him, and we are using a Bible reading plan that will take us through the entire New Testament. There's even a corresponding plan to memorize scripture together. And I would be so encouraged if many of you chose to read the Bible together with us. If you have the Bible app on your phone, you could even join the Brainerd family there and track your progress through that app. I hope you can sense just how excited I am to think what the Lord could do through His Word in the lives of our entire church family. I'm thinking of our senior adults all the way to our youngest kids who are just learning to communicate. So would you join us as we gather in 2024 around the Word and in prayer? I sure hope you will.